Hi, this is Rich Weller of uh, PCube's Great Lakes region. I'd like to give a little presentation today around using Mind Manager and Microsoft, Microsoft Project together. Okay, to start off here, we're going to take a look at this software called Mind Manager. It's a mind mapping software that's made by an organization called MindJet. And once we open this software up, you'll see the first thing that we're presented is this option called a central topic. This is a, it's a great tool for helping the project team brainstorm the project. And that's how we're going to use it. We're going to use it to develop WPS for this project called Three Story Office Building. You can imagine a project manager sitting around uh, with his team. Uh, maybe the first thing we want to do is add the first item in the WBS by clicking on subtopic. And we're going to call this first item site preparation. And by clicking on that item and then topic, then we can add another item within our WBS. Perhaps we'll call this foundation. And then a third item within the WBS. We'll call this one Steelwork. Now, when you look at this, um, it doesn't currently doesn't look like a traditional WBS, and we can do to we can change that by going to Tools, Map Styles, and then clicking on Layout or Chart, and you'll notice this view does appear to be a more traditional WBS style. So if we apply that, we can now see that our um, our WBS is starting to take shape. Maybe we want to add some tasks underneath site preparation. We click on site preparation and then subtopic. We want the first task is install to power. Maybe we want to add another task and this one we'll call install temp water. And then finally a third task that we'll add um, uh, about site uh, the setup site office. So these are our three tasks underneath here. And you'll notice that if they're coming in horizontally. And you know, with a larger project, it wouldn't take us too long to make a rather wide page. So we're going to change the format to a tree style layout. So now our tasks underneath this work package are coming in in a vertical fashion. So we can continue this exercise with the team uh, until we uh, develop our, our complete WBS. You can see we've got that developed here. Um, the number of tasks, the number of WBS items. We've only gone one level deep just for simplicity of this demonstration. But we can uh, hold down on our left mouse button and scroll and we can zoom in and out. We also have some additional options underneath view. For instance, we can click on view in detail. We can show all outline levels can show only outline level one, similar to Microsoft Project. We can also click on each uh, item and zoom in individually, or I should say enroll. And wouldn't it be nice if we could take this information that we've captured electronically in Mind Manage, and wouldn't it be nice if we could transfer all of this information over to Microsoft Project? Well, through the use of this tool, um, we actually can. If we click on this button called Mine Manager, and we slide down to Export, you'll see we have the option to export task information to Microsoft Project. We click on that, save the file name, accept the defaults and simply say export. It then transfers that information across. Once it's complete we can open the folder and once that's open you'll see our Microsoft Project file sitting there. We open that up and now you'll see that all the information that we entered into Mind Manager, those tasks, come into Microsoft Project as tasks. The WBS items come in as summary tasks, 
And if we go through Tools, Options, and Enable our Project Summary Task, we can see that our project name is sitting at the top. So now you've entered this information one time in Mind Manager, a great um, tool for brainstorming and developing in WBS. And at the click of a button, we've gotten this information over to Microsoft Project, where we can now continue on with uh, activity sequencing, uh, assigning resources, and for further developing our project schedule, and we can also manage it from here. Okay, so just a couple items in closing here. The first one um, that I'd like to touch on is that the fact that this demo was um, developed using Mind Manager Pro 7 and Microsoft Project 2003. Now I'm actually um, I know for a fact that this uh, same functionality exists in older versions of both tools as uh, back in probably 2002 um, I used this uh, using Microsoft Project 2000 at least um, and I'm not sure which version of my manager but I do know this functionality exists in older versions of both tools. Um, you can also uh, what we demonstrated here today was exporting information out of Mind Manager into Microsoft Project. Now, if for some reason you wanted to turn around and export information out of Microsoft Project and put it into, micro, in, into Mind Manager, that is also possible. However, one thing to keep in mind is regardless of which way you're exporting or importing, um, the, the information is not dynamic. In other words, changes in one you know, automatically cascade or bring to the other tool. You have to save another version. Uh, another piece of information you might find of value is that, there, that is there's lots of other fields that might map between Mind Manager and Microsoft Project. For instance, you could input start and finish dates into Mind Manager and have those transferred over into Microsoft Project. There's also the, the priority field that is mapped between the two, the two tools resource name, notes, and there's probably an additional fields um, map as well. I just don't know those off the top of my head and haven't stumbled into them. Um, so again, I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the demonstration today. Um, you certainly can contact me should you have any questions or, or need additional help. Again, my name is Rich Weller and you'll see my email address is there. Thanks a lot.